Now it's time for them to share their own words with you. Thank you. And first up, we have Jacob.
My name is Camilla Hazelman, and this is my first year at Action Academy. This year, I learned an incredible amount, more than I can put into a two-minute speech. However, today I'm going to share my most valuable lessons learned, and I hope you enjoy. At Action Academy, my dreams and passions are encouraged and valued. Even though I am a new student, I have learned the importance of finding what you are good at and what you love. I'm still not sure what my true calling is, but I know that it will be the single most important thing that I need to do in life. As I progress through this incredible hero's journey, I will fail and succeed, but everything will feed into learning about myself and what the question, who am I, really means. Grit is greater than I do, period. From my experience of this year, all the pests and baggage could not have been done by solely being smart. Sticking to what you commit to will progress you so much farther in life than IQ will ever do. Independence and freedom are the two scariest and best responsibilities you will give to some 11, 12, and 13 year olds. Over the past year, I have learned to be independent, to learn what I want to learn at my own pace, to ask myself questions and figure them out on my own. I have learned more from this technique than anything I have learned from the school. I would like to thank each and every one of the students, my parents, and the guides for leading me in this hero's journey and holding me to the highest standards. Without you, none of these lessons would be learned, and I would never be able to be the person I am today. I am so excited for what's to come as I grow and learn even more at Launchpad. Thank you. I know that I want to be a filmmaker. 
So at first glance, the value for me in a Rube Goldberg machine project, a rocket science project, or a debate project would be minimal. In spite of this, I found that there's no denying the true value in all of our work. I feel that just doing my work is valuable. Conducting about my work wholeheartedly, in and of itself, has value. Even if the projects that had no connection to my home had value. With doing work wholeheartedly comes grit, and you'll need grit to get through life. If I come across an assignment that has little to do with my hero's journey, I have two options. First is to mail it. The only thing I could really gain from that would be more free time. My second option is to do my best and strive towards learning something from the project. What comes from that? I turn on a project that I can say I was proud of. And although it didn't contribute towards my correct calling, it helped me develop a habit of excellence, something I truly won't go anywhere in life without. If I go with that app, option, I'll actually have something to take away and reflect on from the project, as opposed to living on without a game. This is what I've learned this year. Putting meaning and excellence into less relevant work gives it so much more value and significance than just simply doing work with mediocrity. Yet, moving on without reflection on what you learn destroys the value of all your efforts. My encouragement to you is to make your work worthwhile. Meaning in work can be found in more than its content, but also in its conduct. I'd like to thank my parents for the unfailing support and our incredible guides who I think deserve a round of applause right now. Mr. Jeff, Ms. Thor, Ms. Sackler, and the rest of the audience who have shown some true passion and helping us find our own passion. Thank you. My name is Ellie Carpenter, and this is the 
the end of my fifth year at When I heard what the subject of the speech was supposed to be, Biggest Lesson Learned happened. I was excited because I thought, Biggest Lesson Learned, easy, right? We learned so much here. So I got to work, I pulled out my computer, and started writing all my thank yous, my greatest lessons learned, and I ended up with a 15 minute speech. <laughs> the truth is, it's impossible to choose just one lesson learned from acting. And even if I did, I couldn't possibly leave out how excited I was for years to come. Being able to collaborate on work with my best friends, all of the amazing projects I'll get to try out every day, that was when I realized how important every single day of acting is to me. It hasn't just been about the end of session exhibitions, not just about how beefed up our resumes will be. It's about all the little things, like learning how to give tough feedback in a kind way, how to set clear standards and consequences, and how to work together on schoolwork while still being friends outside of school. So today, I decided to bring you a lesson that I learned through writing this very speech. As crisp and clear as I wanted the speech to be, and as smoothly as I wanted the ceremony to go, what's been the most important lesson to learn this year is to savor every day. Learn as much as you can in any way, but also still have fun. There will never be a real end. Everything will go on who wants to graduate middle school and high school. So let the process be the part you're looking forward to, not the finale. With all that being said, I want to thank everyone who's not only helped me learn that, but also helped me execute it. Especially my parents for making every day amazing. They, just like I know all the other parents have, put so much trust in me, so thank you. I look forward to every day I get to spend with all of you for the next few years, and I thank you for every amazing day we've had so far. We have a special treat from an elementary student, Anna Dawson. Will you please come forward? She has some words to share with you all in particular. Hi, I'm Anna, and I want to thank the middle schoolers who participated for being our e-boys. The elementary school appreciates you being supportive and kind, patient, and very secret. And helpful with both sides. Thank you for holding us accountable throughout the whole year as well as, as well as being generous with your time. Thanks so much, middle schoolers. We couldn't have made it through the year. Now. 